if you have the courage to plan. Changing an organization, a company, a country, or a world begins with the simple step of changing yourself. I have one more thing to say. Does anybody know what this building is? Can anybody tell me? This is the Business Administration Building in Memorial University, St. John's. The reason this picture is in my hand today, a year ago I sat with a graduate who was graduated a year ago, had straight A's in every course. You know what he said to me? He said to me that his degree meant nothing. And I said, that is very, very sad. So what I decided to do was take a picture. This picture was taken, this is not the actual product. These are some of the uh, prototypes that I went through to get this product on the, on the go. This was taken with just a camera that I, uh, my mother owns. It's a little tiny camera. I don't know if anyone has it here today. You don't need to be a professional photographer. And that picture is in the business building right now. The business faculty is buying one. It will be framed plus the philosophy of the business administration program will be down on the bottom. This picture will be sold to the students. A lot of students are very negative. They don't want, they want to throw darts at this. Well, that's fine. But in the future, I think that uh, they will. Anyone here can take a picture of their own school and do the same thing. You just got to look for opportunities, take the opportunity, seize it, and take action. Thank you. You don't, you don't know, like with, with business, you're not sure exactly. Like you got to have a plan. you got to know what you're doing. And I'm not talking just about a business plan. You need a life plan. I'm going to show you my wallet. <laughs> I've got all my goals written down right here. Uh, I've updated periodically. My goals are written right here. Plus, I also have this thing here. 1992 to 1998. Now there's nothing written in there specifically, but I like to look at this and just say, hmm, where am I going to be in 1998? I don't know what you guys do in terms of that. Do you, do you ever think about where you're going to be in 10 years' time? I'll tell you, if you don't think about where you're going to be in 10 years' time, you're not going to know where you are once you get there. It's very important to know where you are and where you're going. As Life's full of, full of tricks and it, it's very challenging. You're probably experiencing a lot of challenges in your life right now. I'll show you a little, another video. This is actually, uh, I didn't mention, but I'm known as the video man uh, in the uh, university because I'm in my market. My market, I saw my market. I saw an opportunity there in terms of my fellow graduates to videotape. So every day that I go to school, I just bring a camera along, take a few minutes of footage. So at the end of the year, on my graduation night, I am anticipating selling 100 tapes at $20 each. People are going to say, you know, a lot of people will say, geez, you know, look at Jerry Carew up there. You know, it's graduation night, look what he's doing. But I mean, if you had the opportunity to stand up, videotape, sell 100 tapes at $20 each, or sit down and enjoy your meal, what would you do? I'm going to do. I just want to show you a little bit of this. Uh, this is the awards night. This is one of the products that I'm selling to my fellow graduates. That picture that I have, you saw some use, as you can tell. This is a thing we call it. It's called the awards night. It's kind of a joking type thing, give up different awards to be done. Oh, I turned the bottom up. Check, check. Ladies and gentlemen.
here I've got a tape. That's a tape of uh, Jeff Sterling's address to our one up North Society. What I, I made one copy. Maybe I'll give it to you, and you can just you know share it. And uh, you know just spread it around. And just look at think of what he says. Some of the things this man says are, are there can be there can be. You might say, "Geez, that guy is, is weird," but. I mean, it's just, it's a different way of thinking, and you cannot deny that this man has been incredibly successful. He's, and anybody in Newfoundland can do the same thing. Just uh, that thought came to my head, and who's watching the hockey here? Anyone? All right. In terms of a focus, uh, Anthony Robbins, when he's, he read the dictionary, and he said that the dictionary has about that many negative words, and that many positive words, right? Now, I'll relate that back to hockey. This is something, you might think this is weird, but just think about it. And this is the way I think, and this is the way many entrepreneurs think about things, not everything, but just things in general. You have a thing called sudden death overcome, right? Why do we have to focus on the fact that a sudden death overcome? Why not call it sudden victory? I've thought of writing uh, Don Cherry a letter. Can you imagine that? He'd bash me around on, on national TV. But it's just the way you think. Just think a little bit differently. Don't always think the same way that you always have. Because that's not, it's going to get you. Whatever you think about and have thought about will get you what you've always gotten. And if you're not happy with what you've always gotten, change your thinking. Simple as that. Just change your thinking. Sudden death, sudden victory. If you're interested in death, think about death. If you're interested in victory, think about victory. Whatever you think about, you will get eventually. And that's what life's all about. So, um, do you think positive and positive results? Exactly. I mean, it's not all going to be positive, but at least you can deal with the negatives. It's like building a force field around yourself. And I tell you, there's lots of negative things can happen to you. And as you know, I mean, you guys, how old most of you? 18, 17, 18? 16. I'm sure there's probably lots of negative that's happening in your life right now. But if you just start thinking this way, I'm telling you, you can build a force field around yourself. And you can, you'll feel a lot better. I got a couple other things here. Here's a magazine that uh, I read, and I know a lot of people that talk to read. Success magazine. Has anyone ever read this magazine? All right. I've got. Just you can pass them out. I'm giving them to you. Those are old copies. So just take them. You know, if you're interested, read a little bit of it. If you're interested. If you're not, throw up the garbage. Whatever. This is another thing. This is I photocopied this out of uh, Anthony Robbins' second book. <coughs> And it's something I do every morning. It's called the Morning Power Questions. It goes, our life experience is based on what we focus on. The following questions are designed to cause you to experience more happiness, excitement, pride, gratitude, joy, commitment, and love every day of your life. Remember, quality questions create a quality life. Come up with two or three answers to all of these questions and feel fully associated. If you have difficulty discovering an answer, simply add the word could. Example, what could I be most happy about in my life now? I've got that. My, my room is a, I don't know, I don't have any reference to the wall, because I, I just staple things right to the wall. So that's something that, if you're going to start turning driveways to somewhere, take a lot out of the wall. And if someone gives you a hassle or something, start talking to yourself and saying, I can overcome any problem. Sorry, I need to stand here. <laughs> All right? You can overcome anything. You want to just say you can. So will you video just about anything? Weddings, yeah. uh, parties, people want to keep? I, was, uh, I had the opportunity to actually videotape a funeral, and I never did it. It's just a little bit too somber for me. Ooh. And, uh, Why not? There's not done. That's true. Why would you want to it is not true. It probably, it probably, you know, yeah, it's probably would lie. You know, you say it's negative. No. And you but say. But in a way, it could be personal because if someone else wants to go out and take someone else's funeral, like if you've never been to a funeral, you want to see how other people experience it. Think about the marketing house. Yeah. 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 Example, especially in uh, Newfoundland. Example, somebody's, example, somebody's uh, brother is in BC. You can't go home. You like to know who? Did Joe show up or did this one show up? The only reason I say that I haven't gotten in that, it's a little bit, it's, 
it's if you're dealing with a wedding, it's a joyous occasion. Yes. You're dealing with like I, my old father died in 1980, so I'm, I'm very familiar with, with death. And my grandparents have died. I've been around a long time. So, but the person like it's it's a difficult it's thing. It's really emotional thing. Yeah. And everybody reacts. And I mean, I'm just I'm a young guy. I just graduated from university. And it's it's not easy when you do something when you have a passion for something. I don't find it easy asking for money. Now you might find that weird. And that's that's a statement, more a statement about me and not being a truly experienced businessman. So you've got to be, you know, if you do the work, you've got to ask for the money, <laughs> you know. But I mean, there's a lot of people. That, as soon as you become good at something, if you, I don't know, say you're a graphic artist and you start doing something. Some people will start coming. All your friends say, look, can you design this new poster? You know, I want to have a party down at my house. Right? You know, you might say, okay, that's fine. But if you don't charge them, then when do you, where do you draw the line? It's, it's a gray area. And there's so many people that you get to know when you start a business. People knock on your door at all hours. Believe me. So this is uh, what I'm handing out here. I was a member of the Mont Entrepreneur Society. So there's lots of societies and groups that you can get involved in. That... Uh, so, come on guys, have any more questions, huh? You have your own production studios. Oh yeah, that's, that's the thing I want to get into. I have, and I'm not ashamed to say it, two VCRs. Do you have to your business? I'm telling you, if you've got all it's your needs. I went, I worked in the, in the local uh, cable station in St. John. And they told me you need blah 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 blah, you need all this and a time based corrector and all this kind of stuff. Of course when you tally all that up it comes to about a hundred thousand dollars. Yes. A grant? I personally wouldn't charge anything, but if you could guarantee me, say I came to a school, if the school could guarantee me if I could sell say twenty or thirty copies, then that would make it be worth my while, you see. Nine? Nine copies. Well, I'm charging twenty dollars a copy, you know, so that would be uh, difficult. Like I charge four hundred dollars for a wedding. So I mean, you know, the thing is, in business, you would discuss that, you know, whatever. Do you have the Pardon me. Yes, I got a bunch of handles out there. What would you do, like, uh, is it there, like, uh, a new plan, uh, like, pay for an ECR or something? You know, maybe now, like. Uh, Imagine if you could go back that far and find out what your family was into and what they were all about. I, 
uh, it's, it's immense. Opportunity there is immense for that. So uh, you're right, that's, that's interesting. So like if you can get a video camera, all you need, I have forgot the name. Sure. Sure. Um, all I have, I have two VCRs. You need audio video insert on one of those VCRs. <clears throat> I worked at Cambridge Atlantic. This is one thing. You listen to people, you listen to professionals. They told me I needed all this time-based corrector because if you don't, the resolution will be off and it will be all jittery up the top. I totally ignored that because I had a camera and I had already been doing this. Just, you know, tape and dog and dog and tape and whatever. 